And we've got Green Sky Bluegrass in the studio. They're playing tonight at the Mercury Ballroom with Fruition. Welcome to Louisville, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. It's good to see you all. Um, let's see. Uh, first off, um, I, I should actually say welcome to the Bluegrass State because I feel like I, I would never say that otherwise unless you had it in your name. <laughs> and I feel like it's a missed opportunity if I don't know. So. Thank you for the welcome <laughs> to the Bluegrass State. <laughs> Home at last. Home at last. I've been watching a lot of videos of you guys, and I, I feel like I should bring up that the thing I notice most about a Green Sky Bluegrass show is just how insanely happy every single person out there looks to be uh, in, in the crowd, uh, which is kind of an interesting thing because even when your lyrics are, I don't know, depressing or reflective <laughs> or anything, somehow the music ends up hopeful. What's the, what, what is the trick? How do you guys pull this off? That's catharsis. That's how you let your pain go, confront it in a moment of fury and then let the and then give it a poppy melody yeah let it go <laughs> it's also the tradition of bluegrass kind of too you know like it's 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 always been really happy music about Murders. murder right coal mining prison prison <laughs> but the chords are all really real happy uh you know and so it sometimes we talk about how we're like bluegrass and not bluegrass right. a lot of the time, all at the same time. And I guess that's another one of those ways, you know, the way you brought up too, where some dark stuff going on. But yeah. man, those are happy chords. They are happy chords. And it, 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 <laughs> I know the album's a year old now, but it made a really great record with uh, was shouted, written down, and quoted. Which at this point, I mean, the, the type of the type of stage show you guys put on, there is a lot of improv uh, a, a part of it and everything. With the record a year old, have you guys gotten to the point where the songs have stretched out in a way that you're like, ah, I wish I could record that one? Is that, has that happened yet? Re-record that one. Uh, the songs do sort of change, but I never really get that uh, desire to redo it. I don't know. I can't speak for these guys necessarily, but <clears throat> that's kind of part of making a record in my mind. It's like committing to where it was when you recorded it. And maybe it changes, and maybe it gets faster, or maybe you recorded it too slow, but... That's where it was at the moment. So yeah, and and how different have they become at this, or have they have many of them? A couple of them we kind of intended to grow and change and get longer and such. So they have, <clears throat> um, and maybe we could record them better now. <laughs> but that's kind of the joy. See, that's how, what I always hear they from want. artists. Yeah, <laughs> is is once they record it, it's almost instant where they go. Oh, but if I could record it again, like I feel like that's the plight of the artist. <laughs> I don't get too much of that. <laughs> Green Sky Bluegrass here on 91.9 WFPK. They are playing tonight at the Mercury Ballroom, and they got instruments, and they're standing, and they look like they'd rather play them <laughs> than yeah. discuss it with me. <laughs> I'm going to give you the chance. What, what are we going to hear first? This song is called Miss September. All right, it's 91.9 WFPK. <coughs> <coughs>
Green Sky Bluegrass here on 91.9 WFPK. Playing tonight at the Mercury Ballroom. That was uh, Miss September. Uh, studio version from Shouted, Written Down, and Quoted just came out uh, last year. And others well, should be pointed out, uh, the great producer you guys had on that was Steve Berlin of Los Lobos. Yeah. How'd you guys hook up with him? Is there any story there? Yeah, there is one. Um, how did we hook up with <laughs> There is, there is a story. There is a story. Yeah. I met him at a leftover sandwich show once. Ah, Dave knows and the then, story. Uh, there you go. We were at that thing at Merriweather, the uh, Dear Jerry thing. Mm, I remember that. Yeah, that's oh, that's right. a memorable experience. Yeah. Boy, I had, I had dinner with Steve, and that's just kind of like how the ball got rolling, and Matt talked to him. Band. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's it's always interesting. Um I don't know. I, I don't, it, some people look at producers differently, but it, you know, for a lot of folks, and I'd wonder with him if it's one of those things where you're looking for someone. Do you? I don't know. Do you look for someone who can kind of just bring the thing in, or look for the other person who sort of becomes part of the band for the moment? It's a little bit both, or a lot. You know, all those things kind of. Um, we're starting to talk about that conversation again now for our next album, um, and we've always had producers that are kind of like. Um, like the sixth man, sort mm-hmm. of. Who are all? We've never had a no. A, we've always we've never had someone who's like, no, you do it my way, and that's the way it is. It's my record since I'm producing it, not yours anymore. I don't know if that exists. I think it does. I think it exists. Yeah, and yeah. that scares the hell out of me, or the heck on radio. Um, that, and, word, that, uh, word, that word, that's not one of the seven words. You're okay, fine. what yeah. are the seven words? Well, first one. Is, <laughs> um, where's that Carlin clip? I know I've got that around here somewhere. It's just one uh, long beep. So, um, but to tie it back to Steve, you know, he was he he was super cool and and helpful to us in that. Um, he but he also really liked our band already and liked our ideas and yeah. was sort of like, uh, he, you know, had, came in with a lot of good ideas, but was also really receptive to what we thought were good ideas, <laughs> um, which is cool, you know. Not to say he was a total yes man, but he was yes enough. He was, yeah, he was into it, and he, you know, he <laughs> he he respected like uh, the way we wanted to make an album, and then added to it and mm-hmm. added his touch to it. I think. Well, it's a really good record. However, it turned out. I mean, I know the way it turned out. It's a really good record. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Green Sky Bluegrass here on ninety one nine WFPK, and I know we're a few years away from it, but twentieth anniversary is on the way, right? Is that is oh. that what it is? Oh, God. What? <laughs> Is, it, is that, that real? That doesn't sound right. No, I don't think so. It can't be right. <laughs> <laughs> I just turned 20. But... <laughs> nope. Well, 2020 for the founding fathers here. Yeah. Wait, what, what, so. what, is, what would be the Fall. 20th anniversary for you three guys? 2020, bro. Halloween 2020. Halloween 2020. Yeah. Wow. So, so see? It's still, was, that's still pretty far away still, man. It, well, I, still it, we're still like... Called, a, that's like an album cycle and a half It is away. an album cycle away. <laughs> Just in case I don't get to see you guys on this uh, this we'll come, next we'll cycle, have to come back. you have to come back so we can all celebrate the twenty twenty in Louisville. It's yeah. an accomplishment to to get that far, to get this far for any. We band. haven't gotten that far yet. Settle <laughs> down, to get man. This far. Oh, okay. Well, you uh, don't jinx the other part. Jeez, man. <laughs> and Green Sky Bluegrass broke up after their Louisville show, <laughs> and half the band decided no. And it's all your fault. <laughs> Uh, it'd be a horrible way to get into the history books. I don't want it. I don't want it at all. Green Sky Bluegrass tonight at the Mercury Ballroom. Uh, fruition also on the bill. You can get the details at WFPK.org. How about one more song? Yeah. The, the Radio Blues. All right. It's FPK. One, two, I 
Green Sky Bluegrass here at 91.9 WFPK. Catch them tonight at the Mercury Ballroom. And I feel like the obvious thing to say here is I will happily play your sad song anytime you send it my way. <laughs> that was so ironic, right? <laughs> yeah. We, we have Full a tradition of, of, of really liking to play songs <laughs> to talk about how the radio is broken. Like, we've got a whole, whole trunk of them, so we'll... We'll throw that one in there, too. <laughs> Thank you guys for stopping by. Thanks for having Thank us. You. Thank you. That was fantastic. So much. I, I love seeing that. Uh, again, uh, Green Sky Bluegrass tonight at the Mercury Ballroom, wfpk.org.